So I like Optana. I've used Optana for years. And when I was using it with Windows XP and Windows 7, I found that it worked fine with the FTP. Now that I'm in Windows 8, they seem to fight. So I'm going to show you another FTP or file transfer protocol software that I've used in the past and that I like. This is the Windows version. I'll have another video for the Mac people. If you're a Mac person, go get Fetch. So I'm going to look up Core FTP Free. And there's lots and lots of stuff out there. I like Core FTP. Uh, my school uses it. I've used it for years. I find it easy. So in the Core page, I'm going to go to Download. And they have the free version, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to go to Core FTP, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to double click. Yes, I've used them for years, so I'm going to choose yes. I'm going to agree. Please pretend that I actually read that. And I'm in Windows 8. Choose the one appropriate for your computer. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to hit Install. OK. I should be done. I can hit Close. And let's go see what I've got. OK, so it's given me a shortcut here. I'm going to make it my default FTP client because it's bugging me that the other one's not working. No, I don't because I have an editor already. Okay, now Site Manager, site name, Web 105, host IP, mary.mccdgm.net, username, mary, password, It's all good. That should be all okay. And that should be excellent. Okay, so I'm going to hit connect and see if it worked. Yes, I have this. Okay, I'm going to be working in my public HTML folder inside the Web 105 folder. And I've got, you can see, bunches of stuff there. Now on this side, I want to go to my documents, which is where I'm at. And I want to go to Optana Studio, because that's my workspace. And here's Web Fundamentals. So we can compare what's, what's the newest. And that's always, always, you go with the newest. So I've updated this. And you can see I've been playing both in Dreamweaver and Optana. But everything's registered to Dreamweaver, because that's my preference. To upload, I hit the arrow over here. I'm going to overwrite. Project 8, I updated on the 9th, and here I updated Project 8 on the 8th. So let's move Project 8 over. I'm going to overwrite all. Now if I wanted to do it the other way, I'd select something here and I'd hit Download. But here it makes it really easy to move my stuff back and forth, and I can do it one folder at a time. Good free software. I'm just going to minimize that. And typically, I would go back and forth if I was developing an Optana. I would be able to just minimize this when I'm ready to update. So let's try that. And we'll go to Web Fundamentals. And let's go look at my index page. Um, OK, Project Date's in there. So let's say we want to include a new project real quick. We'll new folder project nine finish new file index.html 
and we'll put something in here. It's not going to be a lot. I just want to prove that it works. I'm skipping the head section. And my index page here. We do want to save these before we update them, by the way. So we'll save this and go to my main index page, add a link. Call it project nine, which is going to be C SS formatted site. Save this. And then when I go back into Core FTP, it's not here. So what I'm going to have to do is force it to refresh. And I should be able to, hmm, I think I should just be able to hit F5 actually. F5, so it doesn't exist here. It exists on my side, but not this side. So I can hit the whole folder, something I like with this, and just hit it over. And I have project nine. But because I changed my index page, I better send that over too. So it's updated. Overwrite, because it already exists. Let's go test and see if everything's working. So if I did this right, I should be able to go to mary.mccdgm.net, go into web 105, I need to change that index page, bingo, I'm here. Not much here, it says I'm project nine, more to be there later. So that's at core FTP, free, works well with Windows 8, and really helps you keep your project up to date much easier than going into the cPanel.